My name is Ali Suisal, and today I'm going to tell you a bit about Pao, the vertical, vert, versatile posture tracking variable. You know the story about evolution and also devolution. With long office hours and heavy use of smartphones, laptops, and uh, tablets, we're all slouchers here. So, and we also lack the body mass to support our skeletal system. Can this be a solution? I don't think so. What about a wearable device that can solve all these problems? I think that's a good idea, but not that fast. In order to solve it, we also need to solve the honeymoon phase dissolution problem. That is, how all these shiny new electronics devices become dull and uninteresting after just a couple of months later and find themselves at the back of the drawer. We need to keep our users interested in us. That's why Pow is the versatile posture tracking variable. A little bit about the statistics. It is a sensor-based device. It is this big, just tiny. And it, is, it has nine days of battery life. It really must be important for you. It connects to the smartphone through a BLE. That's why you can track some of the important metrics about your life. But the most important thing about Pow, it has an open SDK. That's why third-party developers can also create new apps for Pow and also make money from it. We're planning some apps for Pilates, for yoga, and also we, the, in the most interesting app we're thinking right now is helping you to learn how to play drums. These are the topics we don't have the time to talk on the presentation. Uh, I want to talk about a little bit about the future. We're going to be in Intel Global Challenge in November, but more importantly, in October, we're going to be launching our Kickstarter campaign, and we're hoping all of you will be there to help us. Don't forget, posture and fitness problems are a permanent part of your modern life, and POW is the only versatile posture tracking variable, and we think it is the future. Thank you. Is this on it? How exactly does that track your posture if it's in your pocket? Uh, it's using a gyro and an accelerometer. But how can it tell what position your back is in? It's on your torso, and it understands how your body is inclined according to the earth core. So you need to wear it on your torso? Yeah, on the Not torso or on your upper back. OK, because it was in your pocket. Yeah, this was in my <laughs> pocket uh, because I learned Just to, checking. Yeah, I didn't want to hold it in my hand all the time. Okay. I just wanted to show it. Okay. Uh, and this is in development or in production? Yeah, it is in development. Okay. We've got the fourth generation prototype right now. Um, here is the board. OK. And we're not in Can mass production yet. Okay. And how do you sell this device? It's direct to consumer or through distributors or partners? In, in the beginning, I think direct to consumer will be better okay. for us because uh, the Kickstarter campaign is going to be a kind of a marketing campaign for the early adopters. Mm. Okay. And I think they will prefer to buy it through Kickstarter or through our site. But if we manage to develop the operation, uh, some online retailers and some brick and mortar retailers will be in the picture, I hope. OK. Uh, you know. Tough to really provide a lot of feedback on this. I, you know, sounds like it might be an interesting market, but it's hard to really understand how to go after that. It feels like there's a lot of products out there that are doing, you know, sort of wearable fitness and quantitative metrics. So, yeah. And it's your, a topic right there. your guess is that you have a, a piece of that market to go after where people care about posture? Um, yeah, uh, most of the wearable devices are not about posture. Okay. Some of them are about uh, really hardcore sports, and they are really yeah. good products. And yeah. most of them are about um, tracking your daily activity. On the posture tracking side, uh, there are two companies right now. One of them is us, and one of them uh, plan pitched their product, uh, talked about their product in January. And they have, I think they didn't provide the product to the consumers okay. yet. Yeah, it's fine. You don't need to educate me about your competition necessarily, but uh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, I think I, I think um, you know, I think <coughs> sort of where Dave was leading was basically, you, do you know that customers actually care about their posture so much that they're going to buy another wearable and put it on their chest? Well, one of the challenges that the the whole wearable space is having is people buy the device and they end up in, in hibernation in their drawer somewhere. Yeah. So those who buy fuel bands and whatever, they, they end up just not using them anymore. And, and now that uh, more and more smartphones are coming out with, with uh, 
you know, hardware built in to yeah. track a whole bunch of fitness activity. It just, it's, it seems like a tough space to get into. So good luck. I Thank really you. don't think that people will buy another product for just posture. I really don't think that. That's why a posture tracking device has to do lots of other things. That's why our device is versatile and it is, uh, it has an open SDK and you can write new apps for it. Yeah. We got to keep it interesting. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you.